J.R. Smith is a two-time NBA champ and a six-man of the year, but near the end of his career, he became better known for his nicknames, 2018 Finals Blunder, and other antics. Many forgot J.R.'s electric and even record-breaking performances across 16 NBA seasons. So, before his involuntary retirement following the 2020 NBA season, how good was J.R. Smith actually? Earl Joseph Smith III was born September 9, 1985 in Freehold Borough, New Jersey. He went to Millstone Middle School. Then, his high school career spanned five years across multiple schools. He also played football and baseball, but decided to focus on basketball, and it paid off. In his final years at St. Benedict's Prep, he put up 27 points, 6 rebounds, and 5 assists per game. This put JR on the college radar with the biggest schools in the country. He received offers from UConn, NC State, Pittsburgh, Villanova in North Carolina, signing a letter of intent to go to UNC. But then something changed. After having a huge McDonald's All-American game with 25 points in 20 minutes, receiving co-MVP honors with Dwight Howard, JR made a business decision. Just one month before the 2004 NBA draft, he decided to skip college and go right to the NBA. Because according to Smith, my family needed the money. We were struggling at the time. In the 2004 NBA Draft, Smith was selected as the 18th overall pick by the New Orleans Hornets, and his rookie campaign was solid, averaging 10 points per game, winning Western Conference Rookie of the Month three times that season in the months of January, February, and March. He even made it to All-Star Weekend his rookie year as a participant in the 2005 NBA Slam Dunk Contest, finishing third behind Amari Stoudemire and winner Josh Smith. But JR's rookie year would be followed by an underwhelming sophomore season. His point average fell to seven points per game, and he got knocked by Hornets head coach Byron Scott for poor work ethic. And just like that, Smith would move to the next chapter of his NBA career. July 14, 2006. JR was traded to a very prestigious team. Along with PJ Brown, they were swapped for Tyson Chandler to the Chicago Bulls. But this stint was short. JR never played a game for Chicago because just six days after that trade was made, he was traded again to the Denver Nuggets. And with Denver, some may argue this is when JR became a fan favorite. What happened? Well, before the good, let's look at an infamous incident he was a part of. In JR's first season with the Nuggets, he played 63 games, but missed 10 games due to a suspension for this. December 16, 2006. Against the Knicks at Madison Square Garden, a brawl broke out, leading to JR's suspension. He also missed 8 games later in the year due to knee surgery, but it wasn't all bad. The season also brought JR the first playoff appearance of his young career. Denver squared off against the Spurs in the first round, but fell 4 to 1. And JR struggled, putting up just 4.5 points per game while going 0 for 12 from 3 in the series. Despite this, he had a solid opening year with Denver, and the following seasons would be a different story. The next season, JR improved drastically. He played 74 games, starting in none, but his numbers flourished. Smith had career highs in field goal and three-point percentage, and Denver made the playoffs again. Despite getting swept in the first round by the Lakers, JR had a much better series himself by the numbers, averaging over 18 points per game on 53% from the field. The next year, 2008-09, JR was in the dunk contest again, falling to third place as before, but he and Denver had a great season. Smith averaged 15 points per game, hit a career mark of 45 points in one game against Sacramento, and in this game, he made a career-high 11 three-pointers. The Nuggets made it to the Western Conference Finals that year, and JR finished the season second in six-man of the year voting behind Jason Terry. 2009-2010 proved his previous season was not a fluke. He averaged 15 points per game and became the first player ever to have more than one game of over 10 threes in a game. Oh, and he pulled this off. Affecting Tony Parker. Smith. We just saw a man fly. Right on Cowboy. The next season, Jair had a slight drop in scoring and another playoff ousting in the first round to the Thunder, which then brought another big change in Smith's career. Due to the 2011 lockout, Jair signed a historic deal in China, $3 million for one year. It was the biggest contract in CBA history, but he lost $1 million of that due to fines for missing practice. Still, he put up an insane 34 points per game in 32 games and made his way back to the NBA. 
Nearly six years after the MSG brawl, JR signed with the New York Knicks, and his successful six-man ways would impressively continue. JR played 35 regular season games in 2011-2012, averaging 12.5 points per game, and the Knicks would make the playoffs, but fall to Miami. This season also brought about more off-court antics. Smith reportedly posted a photo of a minimally dressed lady on his Twitter and got fined $25,000. But money for him wasn't a problem because he signed an extension with New York that offseason a two-year $5.7 million contract. And the 2012-13 season is arguably one of the best years of J.R. Smith's career. In 80 regular season games, J.R. averaged 18 points per game. And in the month of March 2013, he had quite possibly the best week of his entire career. Three consecutive games of over 30 points. The first bench player to do so since Ricky Pierce in 1990, earning him Eastern Conference Player of the Week honors. And after falling just short of the award in 2009, Smith would win NBA Sixth Man of the Year in 2013. Not only that, but the team was pretty successful as well, reaching the Eastern Conference semifinals before losing to Indiana. JR played two more seasons with New York and continued to break three-point and franchise records. He set a Knicks record with 10 made three-pointers in one game against Miami. He also shot 22 threes that game, another Knicks record. Smith's time in New York had many highlights, but it would come to an end in 2015, because on January 5th, 2015, JR was traded from New York to the Cleveland Cavaliers. This was part of a three-team trade with Oklahoma City. He would become a starter, starting all but one of the games he played with Cleveland that year. JR was briefly suspended for elbowing Jay Crowder in the first round of the playoffs, but the Cavs made the finals, losing to Golden State. But Smith remained consistent. The next season, he started all 77 regular season games he played in, averaged 12 points per game, shot 40% from three, and then Cleveland's playoff run. JR's 2016 postseason was record-breaking. He started all 21 games, averaged 11.5 points per game, and made a Cavalier playoff record 65 threes in one postseason, bringing Cleveland their first NBA championship. And of course, Cleveland's championship parade brought out the hilarity many fans had come to enjoy out of Smith. That paid off for JR, literally. In October 2016, he signed a four-year $57 million contract with the Cavs, but would be very up and down over those next couple of years. He averaged just over 8 points per game, also fracturing his thumb in December 2016 that took him out until March 9th of that season. And Cleveland would lose to Golden State in the finals. But the next year would be what many fans remember from his career. During the 2017-18 NBA season, Smith put up 8 points per game. And then this. Hill misses. Rebound goes to the Cavs. J.R. Smith brings it back out. Throws it to Hill. Hill shot blocked. You get the feeling J.R. Smith the thought they had the lead. He no. didn't know the score. That's a bad mistake by J.R. Smith. That unfortunate turn for Smith would lead to a Cleveland Finals loss in 2018. A LeBron James move to Los Angeles, and on November 20th, 2018, the Cavs said JR would no longer be with the team after he said the team wasn't trying to win. Smith was officially waived by Cleveland on July 15th, 2019. And JR would make his final hurrah in the NBA in 2020. On July 1st, 2020, he signed with the Lakers, playing six regular season games and 10 playoff games all in the bubble. He put up two points a game, but but brought home his second NBA title. JR's last NBA appearance was Game 3 of the 2020 NBA Finals, with three points, a rebound, and a steal. Upon his involuntary retirement, JR was top 10 in NBA history and made three-pointers. And despite his ups and downs, JR Smith's NBA career should be seen as extremely successful. Even former teammate Amon Shumpert called JR the most underrated player he shared the court with. So, how good was JR Smith on the basketball court? Really good. In arguably one of the most fun players to watch in the league at his peak.